Hello, everybody. Just wanted to show you kind of the basic con proof of concept I have here for the new oil drilling rig um, additions to Stormworks. Um, I know the the uh, update just came out a few days ago, and there's really not much um, out there to help people. Um, I know I struggled quite a bit, but uh, once I kind of understood how things work and all that stuff um i, I built this uh drilling platform here it is a land-based platform so um i'll just kind of do a quick run through of it real fast to kind of explain everything um as i do it um but first off we're here just in the creative uh garage thing if you will um you have your turntable which that is where some type of rotational torque is added to the drill pipe to more or less perform the drilling function. Um, you have your drill swivel. That is where slurry and or slurry is pumped into the drill swivel through the drill pipe and then back out the pipe through the swivel and pumped away from it on this port here. Um, that is the way, the only way to actually properly drill is to pump the slurry in and out and you have to have a pretty good flow I've noticed to get it to actually move, like the drill stem to actually move pretty quick. Um, so you'll see that once we hook up. Um, this here is what they call the drill connector. Um, this top piece is used as a clamp so it will actually clamp the rod to that piece. You can use the swivel here to move vertically. Um, so you could physically move the rod up or down to put it in the position you want to. And then it has a function for uh, connect and disconnect. So that meaning once you have the drill stem in the proper position in the connection point, you will then be able to use this secondary clamp over here, it functions the same way as this, um, to mate two pipes together and then connect them to put them in series as you drill further and deeper. Um, again, this is just kind of a proof of concept thing. Um, I have drilled a little bit on this wellhead um, that we're going to spawn this in on. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to I know the frustration with me was pretty high, but I just kind of wanted to explain, I guess, simplify it so maybe you can kind of see how it's done. Um, and then feel free to download this and use it or download it and, you know, just kind of steal parts off that you want to use and, you know, just kind of get a feel for it. Um, over here, I think the update broke the batteries. This is just a generator. This is a Karstrom Olsen um, compact modular engine that runs a generator that will uh, charge the batteries systems I have. Um, <clears throat> over here, underneath, inside, there is a bigger slurry tank. So this is where like the clean slurry comes. <clears throat> it's sucked in through this pump. It's then pumped into the track base and into the input port of the drill swivel. Uh, when you do use this, you will have to come physically out and connect this hose to the out port. So then the dirty slurry can come in from this pump up into what I call my buffer tank. <clears throat> this buffer tank will fill um, as the slurry flow circulates. And then I have a small microcontroller that takes the level and once it's above a certain point it turns this pump and this pump on along with the water pumps from the water tank which is this big blue brick on top um, and it pumps the slurry through this filter system to clean it using the fresh water um, yeah so i guess without further ado we'll drop this in really fast and we will take a gander at it. So again, this, I guess I'll come back to the 
bottom so you can kind of see it. This is the wellhead. Um, this is a pre-established wellhead. It's on the map. Um, if you don't have the industrial frontier, I do not believe you have access to, well, obviously you won't have access to this southern part of the map, but you won't have access to these already established wellheads. Um, so basically, like I said, the turntable, <coughs> you want that more or less at the lowest point you can have it, um, right above dead center of the wellhead. Um, and the wellhead is where the rods will go into. Um, so yeah, uh, more or less start out with, you're going to have to come in here, you're going to have to go into the breaker room. I just turn them all on. Um, I got ISO switches for the primary and secondary. Your secondary is specific just to the motors that spin the turntable. Um, sit in the control seat. Um, first thing, center console, it's more or less. You got drill swivel, left clamp, drill connector clamps. And then I'll explain the rest of this shortly. But you will, first thing you want to do, like I said, was come over here and go ahead and hook up your, um, that's the slurry output. Um, those hoses are 20 meters in length, I believe. So to, you don't have to worry about stretching it too far or breaking it. It'll go the whole height you need it. Um, so once that's hooked up, technically you should be able to start drilling. Um, to release the slide connectors on this drill connector. Um, that way you can move the trolley. And if, it, if you got like a rod in it, you can turn those off and it'll stay pretty stationary. We're going to send this all the way up. Just so you'll clear the pipe. This camera is there to assist you in seeing the rod so you're going to turn the clamp on you're going to bring it out you'll hear it connect bring it back use your w and s to bring that in okay slide it back Get level here and then I'll just slowly get it lined up on the drill table and you'll slide it down. You should hear it click when the wellhead grabs it. I have to bring this clamp out. So we'll disconnect the drill connector because now this clamp has a hold of it. So you can use your A and P keys. And it only, for some reason, that only works when the, uh, this clamp, for some reason, only works when the drill head has a hold of it. All right. So this swivel clamp is what clamps the pipe to the swivel. So now you can see, if I move this one, that that rod is now connected to our swivel. You should hear it click when it Engages. There it goes, right there. So now we're engaged. We can hook this clamp. This is the part that threw me off, as I couldn't figure out how to get uh, the rods to connect to each other. So we're going to go ahead and send our swivel back up. Out of the way. Okay, let's grab this one right back. We'll send our, so we're just going to send the swivel down just to push, get this kind of inserted. Send it back up. 
Because if you kind of look at the distance here, you just want to usually right at the bottom of the window to get it in place. Now I have this uh, indicator here, rod alignment achieved. There is a node that you can set that turns an on and off signal when you have them lined up, meaning you can connect them. Now you see it's working there. So just bring that up into the connector. We have the achieved the alignment, meaning those two rod ends are aligned. So we're going to hit this connect. We're now going to release this from the drill connector. They are attached. Going to bring our swivel down. We're connected. We're going to go ahead and back our clamps out of the way. So now you should be you'll be able to drill now. Um, I have drilled a little bit into this wellhead. I think I'm roughly like 30 meters down. But all you have to do from there is you have to have some way to clamp the turntable to the uh, rod that's inserted in it. Um, you need to, like I said earlier, slurry. So we're going to flip our slurry pumps on. You can see our tank is, supply tank is emptying and our buffer tank is filling. Now we're just going to throttle up those electric motors. We're getting some rotation. And then you'd be able to drill. But since that thing is far enough down, you're not going to hear the drilling sound. Um, if you were just starting to drill, as soon as that thing makes contact, you'll hear its pretty obvious sound. But that's where the um, slurry flow comes into play because you need the faster you can pump slurry in and pump it out, the faster that swivel head will force the uh, drill stem down into the into the ground and drill. Um, so yeah, I hope that kind of helps and explains it. Again, for this to function, the connection point here, you need some other type of clamp to be able to force another rod up into here while that clamp holds the rod above it. And then once you have achieved that, you will be able to use the this di connect disconnect node here to join those two rods together and then this on off signal here is the one that I used for that achievement light but if you know that they're aligned once that's aligned you connect them and then you're yeah you're ready to go um, I hope this helps kind of explain a little bit um it's taken some trial and error but yeah this is kind of just a like i said a proof of concept um, i will be hopefully adding more systems to this um i do hope to make a offshore based one but yeah um, feel free to use this um, take some systems off of it or some ideas off of it and if you do use any of the systems and re-upload them just give me a shout out and i hope you enjoy take care